you guys to get a little creative okay. and come up with a reason to go down. Like a forced outage type thing. Right. An industry that went for 100 years from the days of Edison was very reliable, was all of a sudden turned into a casino. Can't treat electricity like you treat oranges. It's the lifeblood of society. There would be ample supply available at the right fucking price. They're taking all the money back from you guys? All the money you guys stole from those poor grandmothers of California? <laughs> yeah, Grandma Millie, man. <laughs> yeah, now she wants her money back for the power you've charged right up, jammed right up her ass for $250 a megawatt hour. California's man-made blackouts began in June of 2000, before intermittent energy sources, such as wind power, had any meaningful presence. Back then, almost all energy produced was of a reliable nature. There were no questions about clouds in the sky or how windy it was across the state. There was only a glaring discrepancy between generating capacity and lack of power. Even so, it took actual audio recordings of Enron traders joking about poor Grandma Millie before everyone could finally agree on what had happened. That no greater good had been served by skyrocketing energy prices and rolling blackouts. They weren't a necessary teething pain of deregulation or the kick in the pants needed to get more generating capacity built. Enron traders had deliberately constrained California's access to electricity and they got rich doing it. It took four years to achieve clarity on those blackouts. We might not be so lucky next time. Intermittent energy sources do not lend themselves to clarity. When the media talk about peak production capacity and don't mention capacity factor, that's not clarity. <laughs>